Hello, this is Matt Bowes with 360 Yield Center, regional agronomist reporting from the tractor cab this morning. Wanted to kind of catch you up on a couple projects I've been doing around the farm. Uh, over the past couple of years, moved towards strip till. Uh, one for the uh, efficiency on tillage, but more importantly for the, the placement of fertilizer. So as we look at uh, corn plants and, and the vast majority of the nutrients coming out of that root ball, is within six or seven inches of the, of the plant. So if you think about the plant, uh, crude drawing on the window, but if you think about the plant, it's pulling a, it's pulling most of its nutrients out of a seven inch radius of that root ball. So if I take and, and, and move to the next row over here, and I do the same thing, all of a sudden I have very concentrated areas of fertilizer if I band it at the row is my whole whole goal so one of the things I've done this year on the planter behind me is move my weed and feed that I've traditionally broadcast across the field to a band and put it right behind the closing wheels on the planter that way I get that that 50 pounds that I normally would broadcast on top ends up going in the flower pot underneath the, underneath the plant so one of the things if we do that, now we've got the effect of starter fertilizer or, or a little bit of an effect of starter fertilizer out of that out of that fertilizer that I'm putting on behind me uh, where the young corn plants will be. One of the things I also want to do is, is monitor how much nitrogen I find in each one of these flower pots and also in this row middle that for all intents and purposes, as long as it's weed free, I'm not as concerned about what the nutrient value is it because most of my fertilizer is going to come out of this area. So what I did is I took soil scan out there uh, last week and I've done this about every week or 10 days since planting on this field. It's been about three weeks since it's been planted. And I'm measuring not soil nitrates here between the rows and here in the row. And initially when I planted I had about 12 pounds per acre so this had nothing uh, no ammonia on it, it was just dry fertilizer in the fall. 12 pounds per acre of natural nitrate this spring <coughs> in the bean stubble. Flash forward 10 days, two weeks, and I go back and I take from that same area of the field, and all of a sudden I've got somewhere around 20 parts per million, or, or 20 pounds per acre right here in the row middle, which is the uh, warm uh, weather that we had for a few days after planting, enhancing mineralization, releasing a little nitrogen. In the row middle, or in the row, I had 50 pounds more showing up, which isn't all from the 50 pounds that I put on the planter. So by, by planting this and stirring the soil a little bit, it warmed a little faster than the row middle would have so mineralization kicked in a little faster. Plus I had a large number of those pounds probably convert surface, surface applied on both sides of the plant. So my theory is working right now. If I were to do the end calculator on soil scan, this says for my yield goal, I need about another 200 pounds. This says I need about another 145. My plan that I came up with in December for all intents and purposes, a plan is a plan until reality strikes. My plan was to end up with putting another 140 here, two passes of Y drop. So for right now, that's working out all right. So as I learn more, I'll report back with more information. But right now, banding, it, my theory is working. We'll see if it holds water or nitrogen as the year goes on. So for now, thank you, and we'll talk to you later.